Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with 1 Chronicles chapter 23. Let's start in verse 1. So when David was old and full of days, he made his son Solomon king over Israel. And he gathered together all the leaders of Israel, with the priests and the Levites. Now the Levites were numbered from the age of 30 years and above, and the number of individual males was 38,000. Of these, 24,000 were to look after the work of the house of the Lord. 6,000 were officers and judges. 4,000 were gatekeepers, and 4,000 praised the Lord with musical instruments, which I made, said David, for giving praise. So a lot of, uh, a lot of names and genealogies, once again, in First Chronicles, not really a surprise because it's First Chronicles. But I'm just looking at the job descriptions that are listed there, and I'm like, you know, out of the things that were, that were listed there, the whole musical instruments and giving praise really sounds appealing to me. I really like the look at that particular job. And when we look around at the things that we have to do, the things that we want to do, the jobs we could have, the jobs we feel like we should have, the job which we, or maybe in some several cases probably at this point, jobs that people have, it's like, I'd really like to do this thing over here. Whenever When I saw the thing about giving praise, I'm like, in comparison to being a gatekeeper, a judge, or just looking after the work of the house of the Lord, I'm like, the musical instruments really spoke to me. Like, I'd really like to do that. The whole music thing is really appealing to me. Now, how they chose that, and, you know, were you allowed to, like, start in one area when you're young, and you graduate into another area? I'm assuming that's especially how it worked for the officers and the judges. A certain amount of maturity had to be shown, and a certain amount of honesty, a certain amount of judgment needed to be shown in order to be placed in that leadership role. But I could be completely mistaken. Maybe it was simply by birth. Maybe it was simply you're born to a family that is a judge. Well, hey, here you are. You're a judge then. That's what you're going to do. Or if you're born um, to a musical family, well, you're going to be an instruments thing. So that's what you're going to do. And my thought at the end, so I was like, the musical thing really sounds good out of all of those particular jobs. That's probably the one I would choose to have. However, Another verse came to mind, and that th there is a very, very popular song mentioned after this uh, particular verse. It is Psalm 84, verse 10. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Better is one day in your courts, better is one day in your house, better is one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere. Probably my favorite worship song. And that is what came to my mind as I was reading through this. I certainly have things that I want to do. I certainly have preferences amongst all the jobs that are out there for the take. And there's, de you know, there are certain things where it's like you do it because you have to do it. And then there are some things where it's like, that's like a dream. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to see if I can succeed at that. I may very possibly fail, but I'm going to try. Kind of like what I'm doing with YouTube. I'm at least going to try. But at the end of the day... To be content with what you have and to recognize, especially for those of us who are believers, to recognize that we're in the Lord's hand, we're his children, he loves us, we're going to get to spend eternity with him. In the middle of all the things that need to be done and in the middle of whatever it seems life has just placed you in, better is one day in his courts than a thousand and thousands elsewhere. Better is it to be a doorkeeper for the house of God than to dwell in the tent of someone that's wicked. Better to be out on the outside doing some kind of guard duty and some kind of patrolling than to be um, in the lap of luxury with all the money and all those other things, you know what I'm talking about, that you can do with, deal with and be in the middle of all that wickedness. It'd be better to be outside and patrolling than be comfortable and be evil. It's preferable to just be in the house of the Lord. So in the middle of all the things that we need to do and all the middle of the things that we have to do, Let's not forget at least the very one thing that we do get to do. We get to be with our God, Jesus. That is, uh, that is an option for anyone and everyone who wants to be with him. Maybe you don't get that dream job. Maybe you don't get that promotion. But you know what? You've got Jesus. And he is enough. And if you don't have him, you are free to ask him into your heart at any time. By all means, if you feel the tugging of the Holy Spirit on your heart strings, become a Christian. Don't think... All, an incredibly long time about it. If, if you feel that tug in your heart, listen to it. It really is better to be working for the Lord than to be in the lap of luxury and be lost.
it really is preferable that way. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully it ministered to you guys. I love you and God bless.